hello and welcome to code stamp and uh, today in this video we are going to talk about a very exciting yet small and simple topic that is changing ip address for your uh, network interface so before we proceed let me tell you the prerequisites are python to be installed on your system and three modules that are sub process time and random these three are pre-installed modules and uh, if uh, in case you miss any of them try installing them okay and there is a short disclaimer uh, while you run this there are some scenarios where you can break your system so don't miss out any of the part where uh, i will tell about that i'll try to keep this very short and simple and uh, now let's uh, get to the plan so we are going to randomly generate an ip address and a friendly python script that is going to then execute it so that we can switch it up every three seconds and we can uh, randomly change the IP address, okay? Not uh, keeping it to a fixed list, and it will be like playing hide and seek with the internet. So first, we go to our network interface. You know the thing that connect us to the web. Then we generate a new IP address, and then we finally tell Windows to switch the IP to the new IP. That is what we are going to do, okay? So let's uh, just take a slight look at the code okay so here we have the code it won't uh, take much time to understand it so i'll just give you a little brief on how this is working okay so the get network interface function uh, uses the net sh interface show interface command to list our network interfaces and filter out the relevant ones so basically what it does is it is uh, checking for all the existing uh, network interfaces that we have on our system that is the thing that this uh, get network interface is doing right for us okay and then we have uh, this uh, change ip address function the function uh, actually does is it uh, goes to net sh interface ip set address and uh, sets a new ip address for the given command okay so basically it is to change the ip address okay then we have this uh, function to generate some random ip address where we are putting this as default and we are generating randomly from 1 to 254 that is the maximum range of ip address that we usually have for the ethernet okay and then we have a main function right here so now the main function is to uh, go through a loop for three seconds and then uh, change it every time uh, we want to change the ip address okay so first we are creating an interface and then get network interface so basically we are uh, getting the uh, interface that we have on our system and then we are uh, telling if the system is not having an interface then we have a if condition for printing an error okay then we have sub mask and then gateway okay these are the subnet mask and gateway that we have default on our system if you explore some through your system you will find this okay and then we are setting up the default interface so basically interfaces are set up into an array so if we have multiple interfaces for network for example we have ethernet cable we have wi-fi and also we have external dongles or cables enabled for internet so if we uh, go to zero that will be the default interface that our computer is using for the internet so it will change for that now we are creating a true condition that will sleep after three seconds okay so that means basically we are going to change it every three seconds if you want to update it just change the time and it will increase the duration for whatever you are uh, thinking to change for so now we are creating a new ip by generating ip from uh, generate ip function and then we are printing that uh, changing uh, the ip from this uh, sorry from the existing ip to the new ip that is generated here and the interface that we are using okay and then we are changing the ip address by calling the change ip function passing in the interface the new ip subnet mask and gateway these are the four parameters that we use to change the ip address and then we are calling the main function so it was as uh, simple as that okay but uh, there are two cautions that you need to remember the administrative privilege so if you see we have this uh, running here this is on uh, administrative mode on uh, the top if you see and this is because uh, python uh, program that is running this we need uh, to change the ip address for the subnet 
so basically that requires administrative access okay and then we have network disruption frequently ip changes can uh, disrupt network connectivity and should be used very responsibly so if you keep doing this very regularly this might happen that you will be blocked from the network that you are using for example if i do this regularly and if i use uh, internet or go to google or any other uh, platform and i regularly do this this might lead to any problem for my system to be blocked permanently from the internet so be very responsible when using any of those uh, scripts there are some of the scenarios which you should not do it for example uh, accessing public internet like google or any other make sure you do this only when you are uh, understanding the aspects and use cases okay so now uh, you know that uh, how the magic happens a brand new ip every three seconds and uh, that is how you can uh, bypass your neighbor's intelligence to block you from their wi-fi all right that's uh, the wrap for the day and uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well to get updated with uh, all the crazy videos and uh, stay safe stay private and keep those IPs changing.